Hi, I'm Erin, and today's book is Pharmacy and Me. Pharmacy and Me was also a Butler University interprofessional children's book project for seniors. The authors of this book include Kelly Baumgartner, Mia Claretto, April Gauthier, Marissa Mahoney, Kelsey Sanders, and Stacy Scheidler. It was illustrated by Amber Anderson, Julie Bickle, and Laura Kramer. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the counter of your local pharmacy? Read this book and you'll find out. Learn, along with a sore-throated little girl, how a prescription from your doctor changes into medicine from your pharmacist. The authors, knowing that some of the words in the story might be new to the reader, included a glossary with complete definitions. Written in melodic rhymes and playfully illustrated, this book gives readers a rare glimpse into the interesting world of pharmacists. Open wide, said the doctor as he held up a light. He looked down at my throat, which had been hurting all night. I closed my eyes because it was shining so bright. Ah, he said, that infection's a fright. The doctor gave me a prescription and said, this will do the trick. Take it to your pharmacist and you'll feel better quick. So we drove across town and walked into the store. I had never been in a pharmacy before. I looked around, but there weren't any animals to see. I thought we were going to a pharmacy. No, no, said Dad. It's pharmacy with a P. It's the place to get medicine for you and for me. No animals allowed. It has to stay clean. As we walked to the counter, he said, see what I mean? Hi, I'm the technician, a man said with a smile. I'll take your prescription. It'll be ready in a while. I could have wandered and looked around the store, but I stayed at the pharmacy because I wanted to learn more. I peered over the counter and my eyes opened wide. There were shelves of medicine stacked side by side. And then a woman came into my sight. I knew it must be the pharmacist. Her coat was white. The technician typed in what my doctor had written. Now to the pharmacist who checked my prescription. She finished, smiled, and said, everything looks great. I made sure this medicine is safe for you to take. I checked that the dose wasn't too high or too low. Just let me mix it up and you'll be ready to go. She picked up a bottle and opened the top, and then she added some water, drop by drop. Once it was filled all the way to the line, she put a label that said, it was mine. Ew, that looks gross, I thought in my head. She must have been reading my mind because she said, I have one more thing that we need to add, just a little bit of flavoring so it won't taste bad. She showed me a poster of the flavors I could choose and I knew with bubble gum, I couldn't lose. She added some drops, closed the top and gave it a shake. Finally, my medicine was all set for me to take. She said, your medicine is all ready, but before you go, there are a few important things that you should know. Take this two times a day, in the morning and at night. I will give you this spoon so you can measure it right. Keep it in the fridge and be sure not to forget to take it with food so your tummy won't be upset. Even if you're feeling better, be sure to finish it all. And if you have any questions, you can give me a call. After talking with the pharmacist, I knew it wouldn't be long. If I did what she said, my sore throat would be gone. So for the next few days, I did everything right. I took a dose in the morning and a dose every night. And before I knew it, I felt as good as new. It's amazing what a little bit of medicine can do. Someday, I'd like to help people like my pharmacist help me. Maybe that is what I'll grow up to be. The end. And here is the glossary in the book. And here are the amazing students that wrote it. And to all the 310,000 pharmacists in the United States serving on the front lines and all of their patients during the COVID-19 pandemic, we sincerely thank you.